Welcome back. We're going to keep talking about food on this Monday and especially Hispanic Heritage Month. Right now, I focused on speaking with Real Housewives of Miami, the previous Anna Quinn Cosas. She's also a chef. We had a great conversation about how you can celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. We also talked about the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, which she loves, and much more. Let's take a look. Is joining us today to share better for you tips and recipes low in cholesterol while also honoring Hispanic Heritage Month. A large part of maintaining healthy cholesterol levels includes using better for you ingredients, and Anna has some quick and simple suggestions on how to do just that while making traditional family recipes, which can be difficult. Chef Anna, thanks so much for joining us today. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. And yes, I definitely, you know. How our health and Hispanic, we really worry a lot about our cholesterol and our heart health. And so I think that, you know, it's very hard for us to give up our traditional recipes and the things we grew up on. So it was kind of my mission to come up with recipes that were a real nod to our heritage while still using better for you ingredients like Mazola corn oil, which studies have shown that really can improve your heart health. And one of the first things I have for you here is arroz con pollo a la chubrera. And I know that is a mouthful, but that is chicken and rice. Um, but it's the way that I make it. I think it's, it's uh, well, I'm not the only one who makes it this way, but it's the way that I really enjoy making it because it has more of a risotto texture to it. And it just feels so like comforting. And just like a bowl of this, it just warms you up inside. And it's, it's definitely one of those one pot wonders that the whole family loves. In addition, I have some steak tacos and we all love tacos, right? And these are really, really special because the, the steak is, is, a, is a skirt steak or you can also use a flank steak, but the marinade is really, really different. And I've used Mazzola corn oil together with some low sodium soy sauce and fresh lime juice and garlic and some some spices and herbs like Mexican oregano and cumin, uh, chili powder, things like that, that just really elevate the flavor of the steak. Then I've topped it off with some um, coleslaw made with mango, which adds a little bit of sweetness and some cotija cheese for that little saltiness and the pickled jalapenos for some like acid and heat. And I think these are recipes that your viewers are really, really gonna love. Oh, it all looks absolutely divine. You can just bring it to me, right? I'm not that far I away. I, I'm trying <laughs> okay. not to eat it myself. I am ready. So I think when we consider making these traditional recipes, but wanting to create healthier ones, we worry about sacrificing taste. So how do you not do that? Well, I think one of the important things is, you know, using the right ingredients. And so, you know, in, in, in the chicken and rice, I've used boneless, skinless, chicken thighs, you can use chicken breast. I, I also obviously sear the meats in Mazzola corn oil, and that's important because it has a higher smoking point. And that smoking point really helps keep the moisture in your uh, proteins because you can use it at 450 degrees, and that is not the way it is with all oils. Some oils have a much lower smoking point, which is why your kitchen sometimes gets all smoky and you end up, you know, with your smoke detector going off. So. Uh, that's one of the important things. And the other thing that Mazzola corn oil has is something called plant sterols. And, and that's in many of the foods that we eat and, and usually the better for you foods, not only corn oil, but fruits, vegetables, uh, nuts, seeds, legumes, cereals, all those things have plant sterols. And it's been shown that plant sterols will actually reduce your cholesterol because it blocks the bad cholesterol. So those are all just tips that really help us be able to partake in our traditional foods while keeping our heart health and our cholesterol down. Well, not only are you preparing and cooking these incredible, delicious dishes, you also have a new cookbook and you're busy with your family. Many things are going on, right? I've got a lot of stuff going on. I have another cookbook coming out, a new show that's in development, a grandchild on the way. Uh, another wedding at the end of this year. So a lot of fun stuff going on and just, you know, working with great brands and, and, and just cooking and feeding people, which is really what makes me the happiest. 
And of course, we're right outside of Salt Lake here in Park City, and you are part of the Real Housewives of Miami. Are you tuning into the Real Housewives of Salt Lake? I love, love Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. It's probably my favorite of the franchise right now. I don't miss it on Sunday nights. Um, they're just a lot of fun. They, they kind of get it, you know, that we're there for, you know, they're very real, and they, but they also give us the entertainment value. So I, I love it, and I get to see a part of Salt Lake you know, I, I went there a long time ago skiing, but it's just so nice. It just, it's so different from all the other uh, iterations of that show. So it must be fun for you guys to have your city showcased in such a nice way. It absolutely is. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Where can we get more information about everything we've talked about today and especially these incredible recipes so we can really celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month in healthy ways? Absolutely. Well, you go to mazola.com where you're going to find these recipes and a lot of other recipes too. And um, go to Mazola to their in, in, uh, Instagram account also has a lot of other recipes that I've created for them. And I hope that you'll try these recipes at home because I really think everyone will love it. Maybe you can have a, a Salt Lake City watch party while eating some good Hispanic food. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, I'm planning that right now. <laughs> and you're invited. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, thank you. I'll be there. Thank you.